Yo guys and girls, <laughs> thank you. Welcome to the SFM channel. Yes, today is recording day. I'm recording movies for the whole week. So what is going on? Well, I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Um, the coronavirus is uh, pretty awful, to be honest. Um, but for me, it's a great opportunity to keep on working on, of course, my app, which I'm working on and I really like. So I don't, I don't think there's a lot of women watching, but this is going to be fun. Um, you can just uh, be part of a game if you're an attractive woman and I'm building this app gamish thing and you should join and if you're a guy and you would like to test the app go to Petboy uh, on YouTube and, uh, and and follow the links and you can apply for a testing account great stuff if you feel like this guy what is he up to check private man out I mean this is what I'm really up to I mean this private man has helped me so much with women. I believe that if I didn't do this, I wouldn't have my girlfriend, which I have now, the relationship setup that I have now, the freedom, I wouldn't have it. I knew a lot about women. I had a lot of experience. I did a lot of different stuff, but this actually nailed it. I started a business. Um, too bad I had to stop it, but I'm rebooting it. So check it out. Um, open for applications takes a while before we're actually going to start but it's a great way to learn about women and um, spend your time wisely so today um, it's it's um, it's going to be about um, that not, when sex is offered for free um, with no letter no little effort from your side you know that's that's pretty much that's pretty catchy right if you meet a girl and she just immediately starts offering sex or she's pretty fast um th th there's some kind of a catch so that's what i want to talk about today um it's uh it's it's happened to some of my friends and um i'm really bad i'm really sad uh about it because he in this particular case, this guy who was in this case where a woman was easy with sex, he immediately got a, a kid, he didn't want the kid, and all, and all that drama and stuff. And There's a lot of different topics, subjects in this region, but I would just want to go to spot on because I have three uh, reasons um, why you should think twice when this occurs. So if you have never been in this situation, it's it's interesting because you're prepared and you should be more convinced that you're not the lucky guy and you should take use of make use of the opportunity um, if you were already in the situation and you got doubts that you might have that you should have done it um, be, be be sure that you made a good decision if you if you declined it so there's three um, three main reasons uh, why they why this would happen um, and there are more if you have one <laughs> please share them below in the video but I'm gonna share three um, and that's it so number one number one is that well women have this stages um, where they like in teen years they flower guys want to pick them up they can fly across the trees because everybody is chasing them they're getting all the world is behind their feet then in the 20s they're kind of kind of settling down being more shit, being done with you know everybody's trying to fuck them and they want to go to a serious relationship could be also like earlier they're, they're always looking for the serious relationship but they're more like looking for the relationship to go through the years they're not like i'm in a relationship because i want to have kids when they go in the 20s definitely most of them they're like i want to go to kids and we got all this stage right so Sorry, not going into them now because I just want to make a point. When this is going to happen is when they're in this stage when they just actually want to have kids <laughs> and they're just short on time. So you have to realize it's like women in their 30s, maybe in even their 40s, maybe even in their 20s, depending on how much, how eager they want to have kids and their ovaries are just kind of exploding and they have had numerous relationships and they failed and they just want to and they know like guys you want to use their dick so they just need a one night stand it's not like they're gonna i'm not they're the one they're also ones who are gonna trick your ass 
but I'm going to say they're trying to pull you in with offering you the, the, the thing that you want the most. And when you got it, they're going to work you inside their, their bubble to, to make you commit to getting a kid. And it could be in different ways. So that could be one of the reasons why a woman is offering sex very quickly to having this kid kind of relationship stuff. Yeah, she could want to have the kids. She just eagerly needs a relationship because she can't be alone. It's all in her interest. So don't get don't get too fancy about it that you're like a special guy. She is in this situation and that's why you are a target. She's targeting you. So that's number one. Number two, could be like she's on the path of revenge. So like most of the time, like a boyfriend cheated on, on her and um or 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 you are dating a girl and she want to take revenge on that girl like it's all in this woman's world why this woman would do something like that and you are just the method to take the revenge to, to pay back um i have been in these situations numerous times and i have declined it because i at some you somehow you feel like something is wrong because so like like in one in one in one situation um there was this girl and she didn't want to tell me a re real name and she wanted to go out with me really fast drink alcohol she was touching me but i knew she had a boyfriend and he looked a little bit like me and she was always walking with him in the city and suddenly she wanted so it was like why is this girl suddenly like is she cheating on him or something so i thought it was real kitschy and then i was at her place and she was want to go up to the room and I, I don't know in whose house I was it was her maybe it was her house maybe it was her they would have the bought the house together maybe it's with their parents but I've had it numerous times but I didn't I didn't go on I didn't I didn't even actually kiss her um, although and then she got really angry and kicked me out because she didn't get what she wanted and she totally denied me and you know women can get really really pissed um, when you don't give them what they want, they're not used to it. They're not used to like the guys really used to getting rejected. A woman like in their world's like, you should be lucky if I'm picking you, you should cooperate. Well, that's a big difference. There's guys doing the alpha road, the alpha style, what I'm saying, and they will just decline because they don't have a problem with not having pussy for a week, a month, a year. I mean, women do might think that there's, that guys are just, that's the one thing. If you do the alpha way, you need to control the mind over the body, also over your over your need to to have sex. Otherwise, you're not gonna get your goals completed. So if you, that's the truth, so that's number two. Um, I, I hope it helps you. Don't don't go for it. Don't go for it. Number three, um, she just wants something from you in the long term. You could be a target because you got a lot of money. Maybe she wants to marry, get money. Maybe she wants a. Uh, visa or for a permit to get a job in the country or she needs help with something you should you should realize they they say that there's not this is not called something like prostitution because it's not like within the sh within a short within a certain term and there's some like some relationship committed to it. and women can fully dictate this the time extended to this relationship and when they're gonna have sex with you so i'm not saying they're prostitutes but they are adding up the price and just spreading it like he's going to do this in return they're going to ex they're going to they're going to they're going to take it yeah because they they know that when they feed you with the sex you got to get involved they're going to they're going to catch you your mind is going to get twisted and you're going to do stuff you would not do that easily if you wouldn't have sex with her because if you have sex this is when you get committed to a girl like it's like having a relationship it's not a, it's, and, and, and a woman can, 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 can create it by just having quick sex and you're stuck. It happens to a lot of guys. So if they're up to something, check it out. I mean, you could check this stuff out easily. I mean, if women come from really far away, it's dodgy. It's like, why would you even consider, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of guys. Um, if women do have financial problems, relationship problems, you know, that kind of stuff, dodgy, catchy. You know, if you're really in need of a woman, then this is not an excuse. There's no excuse. There's That's what I'm trying to say, man. There's no excuse. Even if you were without sex for 300 years and you're on the point of dying, don't go for the trap. 
you could rather be, go to the hookers, pay them off, and have sex. You know, do it like a financial deal. Don't get it mixed up with relationships. It's gonna get you killed. I'm warning you guys. Don't do it. Seriously, don't do it, man. A lot of a lot of good potential going down down the drain. Um, these are top three reasons uh, for me that I've experienced and. Uh, if you got some other crazy reasons you could think of uh, when sex is offered for free and uh, with no or little effort from your side, um, please share. could be really informative for me and for the other watchers. We could learn from it. And um, Well, I hope, I hope this helped you out. And uh, I hope to see you guys and girls. Also, I've noticed that also girls are signing up. So thank you. Like I like girls. You please give me give me your opinion about this. Um, and uh, I will be seeing you uh, in the next episode. So take care, huh, with the coronavirus now. And uh, see you guys and girls.